guys, me Allie. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a beautiful day. I'm here today to test out three different temporary hair dyes. These are wash out hair dyes. Hair dyes that are only good for one use. I'm going to be testing out the hair spray, a hair wax, and a hair chalk. Now I'm super excited about the hair wax. It's super, super popular on Instagram. It is always showing up in all of my sponsored posts and I'm really, really holding out for that one. If you guys are interested, I hope that you guys keep watching. If you have any other questions and concerns, just ask them in the comments below. I will be linking all the products and where I got them in the description below if you want to try them out for yourself. And now without further ado, let's go get ready and test some of these out. Okay, so first off, we are going to be testing out the L'Oreal Paris Colorist to Spray One Day Color. I got mine in the color hashtag pastel pink 10, and it says right here on the packaging that it is for hints and highlights. It also says on the packaging that it is visible on all hair types, and they show somebody with a brunette hairstyle and a blonde hairstyle, or blonde hair, not hairstyle. I have red hair or dyed red hair, so it's a little bit lighter than brunette. So if it works on brunette hair, then it should work on mine. It says to place a towel around your shoulders to protect your clothing. Didn't do that, but I will do that in a minute. It says to shake the can well before each use. And then it says to hold the can four to six inches away from the dry hair and spray. So you should not be doing this to wet hair. It should be dry. Then you want to wait a few minutes for the color to dry completely. And that's it. What could go wrong? I'm actually going to be a rebel and I'm just going to do it with my shirt on and just hope that it doesn't get everywhere and the fallout doesn't get all of my shirt because I don't feel like going upstairs and getting a towel. So I'm going to start off with a, a tiny little piece of hair like this. I think, I think this will work. And my hair is already styled, so I'm hoping that that doesn't really matter. Oh, it's really, it's really weird looking. Is it getting on my books? No, it's not. Okay, cool. Got it on my hands. It's like very subtle, but it is pink. I mean, it's definitely pink, but it's just very subtle all over my hands. So I moved away from my bookshelf because again, I was getting like major anxiety that I was getting my entire bookshelf covered in pink. I wasn't, but knowing me, I would like miss my hair and just hit all of my pictures or all of my books. So I moved up a little bit. So far, I'm semi-impressed. I could definitely see again a pink hint and that is exactly what it says on the packaging. It says for hints and highlights. It is not saying that it's going to dye your entire hair pink. So it is pretty much doing its job. Now I'm just gonna kind of like go at it and see if I see like a major change. Also, I'm going out tonight, so I hope that it looks halfway decent. I'm definitely seeing the pink though. It's kind of fun. Very easy to apply as well. It's all over my shirt follow what they say in the packaging. <laughs> Thank God it says that it's going to just like wash right out. Should've got a towel. Verdict, if you are looking for a very, very, very subtle hint of pink in your hair, this product works really, really well. It does exactly what it says it's going to do. It did give a hint or a little bit of a highlight. I wouldn't say that this is like a temporary hair dye, especially if you have dark hair. I don't even have like extremely dark hair and it is not showing up a lot. In the light, it shows up like a little bit better. I feel like my hair got maybe like one shade lighter. I can definitely see the pink, like especially at the top where the roots are, it is showing up the most. It's really, really pretty though. I will say, not sure if it is worth the money, only for the fact that I sprayed this on my hair for like a minute and a half and I used the entire bottle. So I don't know if it's just like the aerosol thing and it just comes out really, really fast or maybe I just have extremely thick hair. I would definitely need like 
two or three of these to make an impact in my hair. But yeah, overall, not too shabby. Would I buy it again? Maybe for like costume purposes, but probably not for everyday wear. Welcome back. It has been a couple of days since I tested out the L'Oreal Colorista Hairspray and I am back to test out my second, not fourth, but second temporary hair dye that washes out. For this process, I'm going to be using the Color Smash Hair Shadow and I got mine in the color Electric Beat. So I did some research and I found out that there are a couple of different ways that you can apply this onto your hair. First and foremost, let's talk about the color of your hair. If you have a blonde hair, you most likely can just swipe this in your hair and it's going to grab onto that color. But if you have darker hair, there are a couple of things that you can do to make the color a little bit more vibrant. So what you should do is spritz your hair with water beforehand because the color will attach so much more to your actual hair and it will again become very, very vibrant or it's supposed to be very very vibrant now if you have dark hair there are two types of hair that you could have you can have really awesome hair that you wet it and it will dry beautifully or you can be like me and have hair that when you wet it it dries very very frizzy if you have hair that you can just spritz and then it'll dry beautifully you can just add this in with the water but if you're like me who has hair that when you spritz it with water it will air dry very frizzy and very unruly don't style your hair beforehand that's why my hair looks like a rat's nest on the top of my head right now what you should do is spritz your hair add in the hair chalk let it air dry and then style it so that is what we are going to be testing out today i hope that made sense this is the blue it is like super super pigmented and I hope that it comes out that pigmented on my hair. Hair goes nothing, no pun intended. So I'm gonna take a super tiny strip of hair to start with. I feel like with this method, the smaller the strand of hair, the smaller the section of hair, the better. And I'm gonna take my spritzer and I'm just gonna lightly wet it, just so it's like lightly damp. And now I'm gonna take the color Smash Hold it and drag it down. I'll give you a close up in just like one second. I can definitely see blue though. Okay, so I'll give you a close up right now. I'm definitely not disappointed right now. Kind of liking this a lot. I hope it looks the same when I style it. I'm gonna try one more strand of hair before I actually style it, and this time I'm gonna try it without spritzing my hair, without getting it damp or getting it wet, and I wanna see what that's gonna look like. Yeah, so it's definitely spottier. It's not as vibrant. The pigmentation is definitely a lot stronger if you wet your hair, so let me spritz this out now and see if it gets a little better. Yeah, it just grabs onto the hair so much more when your hair is wet. I really like this, this is so much fun. I wish they would sell this in like a tube and I would try to do my entire hair. This is not gonna be enough to do my entire head. I'm also noticing that it's just getting the top strand, so in order to get like the bottom section, I'd have to turn this over and follow the exact same process. Very messy. So the straightening iron worked for sure. Still has a lot of color in there. I wouldn't say as much color though. I don't know how I feel about this one. I think I would give this one like a five out of 10. It is fun and I feel like if you had blonde hair it would show up a lot better. It does look good on the red hair, but the fallout is like so extreme. It was so much more blue just 10 minutes ago as opposed to where it is now. 
Final thoughts, it wasn't even worth it for me to continue styling my hair or trying to add more streaks of the blue hair chalk into my hair because I just was not loving the way that it was working. I didn't like how it was ripping my hair. I didn't like the amount of fallout. I didn't like how it was pigmented one minute and 10 minutes later. There was almost no color in my hair. I didn't like the way that it felt in my hair either. It made my hair feel really, really, really dry. So overall, I mean, it did what it said it was going to do partly, but I would never use this product again. Honestly, I was going to wait a couple of days to test out the final product, but the blue hair chalk clearly did not work that well. So I figured let's just keep rolling with it and test out the very final product today. I am so excited to test out this last washout hair dye. I saw this on my Instagram and on my Twitter and on YouTube. I've seen it all over social media. It is a hair wax. Now this packaging is completely in a different language. I got this off of Amazon and I will again link it in the description below. I can't read the packaging at all but I'm just going to go off of what I saw on the Instagram videos. I bought mine in the color of violet and this is what it looks like. That is the color. <laughs> so exciting. It's by Mofage Eng. Hair coloring material. Actually this is in English so usage after the net hair, I don't know what that means, take a small amount of mud in the palm of your hand, circle it around, rubbing uniformly, try to get a finger, this is like not very good English, try to get on your finger and then gently pull the finger form from the hair root to the bottom to smear evenly. So what I'm getting out of that, I should take some, put it in the palm of my hand, rub it all together, then take a single finger put it in the hair root and try to bring it down. I'm probably just gonna take my hand and just play with it in my hair. Then you wanna let it dry. Here comes Jax again. Then you wanna let it dry and then you wanna style your hair. I'm slightly terrified to put this in my hair. I have watched a bunch of videos on this and pretty much everybody said the same thing. It washes out of your hair. So I'm not too worried about that. I'm just worried that I've been growing my hair out for like seven years to donate it. Probably closer to five years actually to donate it again. And if this ruins my hair, I'm gonna be really, really sad. But it does say on the packaging that it's supposed to be very safe. So. Let's just, let's just play around and have fun with it. I took all my rings off also, so I'm gonna take, oh God, it's so weird. Put it in the palm of my hand and rub it together. Ew, <laughs> it's so weird. It is very smooth, it's not waxy. I thought it was gonna have like a very, very thick texture and very, very thick consistency, but it's actually pretty smooth. It kind of feels like a moisturizer. thumbnail. <laughs> Here we go. Ooh. Oh my god, it's coming up purple. This is so weird. Oh my god. So obviously it is very like sticky right now, but it does say right on the packaging that it is supposed to dry, not stiff. It's been about five minutes and I did just a little bit more research and it did say that after a couple of minutes you should take a brush and brush it through because it's going to distribute the color a little bit more. So that is what I'm going to do. I don't know if you can tell in this lighting. I'll give you a close up in just a minute, but it's definitely showing up purple. This is probably the most pigmented out of all of the ones that I've tried out so far, but we're not done. We're gonna try to do the entire head of hair. So let's keep going. I will say that a lot, a little bit of this will go a long way. So here we go again, round two. I don't know if I should do this in sections or just have at it. I'm just gonna like have at it. I already did that part. Let's go on this side now. Such a weird feeling. I like honestly don't know how I feel about it. The color is coming up so nicely though. This is so freaking cool. Okay, so I'm gonna let that dry a little bit and then I will brush it through. My clothes are destroyed right now. 
actually just straight. And this was very cheap. I think this was on Amazon for like $7. So if you just want like a fun hair color for like a night, I could probably get like two uses out of this or maybe even three or four, depending on how many, how much of this I use. <sighs> oh my God. Okay, two sections done. Third section, let's get some of it in the back. Also, let's get the roots. I want the roots to be really vibrant. This will probably be my last swipe, maybe one or two more, and I still have at least three-fourths of the bottle left. So from a price point, I would say that this is pretty awesome. And I have very long hair, as I mentioned a billion times. Like, honestly, Allison, just shut up. Oh, it's so stiff right now. I, like, can't even move my, my hands through my hair right now. It is so stiff. Oh, God. It's been about five minutes and I feel like my hair is getting stiffer by the minute. Like, does this, does that look natural to you? Because <laughs> it doesn't look natural to me. I don't really understand how I'm gonna be able to take a hairbrush to this without ripping out each and every single strand of hair in my head. But we're gonna try it out. Maybe by some miracle it'll be easy, but like, look at that. <laughs> Your hair should not do that. Maybe I use too much, I don't know. Oh God, I'm like nervous. Oh, it's ripping so much. Oh, this feels terrible. I don't like it. I messed up. I'll try like from the bottom and I'll go up. Oh, it just sounds so cringy right now. I don't like this. Love the color though, the color is so pretty. It's kind of working, but it's still so, so stiff. You can't see it, but it's very purple on here. Oh, I hate this so much, I hate this so, so much. It's kind of working. I'm actually tearing up right now. This is how painful this is. I think I might call it quits in a couple of minutes. That's a wrap guys. I have to throw the towel in on this one because it's just, it is ripping my hair out left and right. It is so stiff still. Even the part that I got the brush through it is still like extremely stiff like look at that and my hair is relatively healthy it looks like I haven't washed my hair in about a year right now so this is just not working I will say that I have very long hair and it's just gonna take a long time to get from point A to point B with a brush but I am gonna be cutting my hair and donating it in June and I'm planning on cutting my hair like up to here so I might do an updated video to follow this one in June and see if it works better with short hair because I do have long hair and obviously it's gonna take a lot more effort to get all of my hair purple when it's this long rather than if it is this long so I'm gonna go jump in the shower wash this all out and then I will come back and let you know how the washing process goes I'm back and are you guys ready for this watch this ready uh... <laughs> 
I take for granted just how amazing it feels to be able to run my fingers through my hair without hitting any goop or any stiffness. This did wash out very easily. It didn't take me any more effort or any less effort than when I usually wash my hair. The color came out immediately. It looked like I murdered a unicorn though. The amount of purple water coming out of my hair and the stream of purple going down the drain. It was a little alarming, but again, it washed out super, super easily. The color is all gone. I didn't lose any extra hair. Anytime that I wash my hair, I usually have like a wad this big of my hair that is touching the drain and I didn't have any more or any less hair loss from this. It was just average. It was exactly the same. I am going to try all these methods out again in the future. When I cut my hair and when I donate it, my hair will be this much shorter. I'm hoping to cut it like right about here. So all of this will be gone and maybe that will make the process of like temporarily dyeing my hair with washout hair dye just a little bit easier. I mean, I wish I had more success with this video, but this is reality. I wanted to test it out and hopefully give you guys an idea of what it is like to use these washout hair dyes with darker colored hair. And it wasn't that successful, but that's okay. I really appreciate you guys watching this video. Please let me know in the, what you thought in the comments below. I would really, really appreciate it. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and you enjoy my videos. I love you guys to the moon and back. I hope that you're having an amazing day and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye guys.